Scorpio cross-referenced all the data Havoc Squad and Kaleo stole from Zakul. When we compared the enemy's comm logs to the Spire maps, we found something unexpected. There's a hyperwave relay station hidden 10,000 meters beneath the Spire. It's the only source of Gemini frequency transmissions to and from the Eternal Throne. That's how Arkham commands the fleet, and we know where it is. That relay station is our key to the Gemini frequency. If we can decrypt it, we'll eavesdrop on the enemy and learn his plans. We have a map. All we need is a route. You'll never get near that relay station. It's ten kilometers underground and defended by more safeguards than we can count. Well, it's a good thing our data reveals every security measure in the way, and how to defeat them. A strike team can disable the defenses right under Arkan's nose, but only if we send it in now. Our intel's turning stale as we speak. Kaleo and Major Jorgen are already on Zakul. They're in position to clear the commander a path directly to the relay station. We are not sending that terrorist. She's done enough to my world. Avic Squad was made for this op. We have enough dead night to turn that relay station into a crater. Cut the head off the serpent. Throw the fleet into chaos. You're trusting the fate of the galaxy to a gang of grenade-happy bucketheads? We're only getting one shot at this. Lucky for you, one shot is all I need. Destroying that relay station is a bonehead play. Send me, and you'll control the Gemini frequency. The idea has potential, and she's an experienced infiltrator who survived on Zakul for years. She bombed my people. Never again. Destroying the relay station is a last resort, but if things go wrong, I need someone who can get creative. That's Kaleo. She's like a rancor on a glass factory. This is a mistake. We also have to make Arkan miserable and distract him from our real purpose. Havoc Squad can do that better than anyone. We won't disappoint, Commander. I'm already moving. Be seeing you. You can't please everyone. But it may be prudent to consult Valkorion. He built the Spire. He may tell you how to invade it.
Valkurian. We need to talk. You once claimed the mantle of my wrath. Now look at you, begging for my scraps. You took my power, and now come for my secrets. But you have not earned them. You always knew or controlled the Eternal Fleet. You should have told me. I am not your servant, and you have trifled with my patience for the last time. Lana, come in. Something happened. I need your help. Your friends cannot hear you. You brought me here. Why? Sometimes, evolution requires a push. Or a sacrifice. You have forgotten what it means to face death alone. I will remind you. A path has been laid before you, but you refuse to tread upon it. That will change. Can you sense the predators closing in? They smell your weakness, they would feast on it. Fulfill. I am tired of being disappointed by your lack of progress.
My son blindsided me because I allowed it. But you were weak. Despite your precious warship, a legion of allies, and my immense power at your disposal, you remain incomplete. My son struck a killing blow against you. Had I not interfered, you would be dead. Perhaps I should have let you go then. Galaxy is finally united under a single banner. It should have been yours. You have mastered the dark side of the Force. It is not enough. It never was. A 
Until you embrace your full potential, you will only be a pawn of fate, never its master. I follow my own path, Valkorion, not yours. You truly believe that? How pathetic. The future is not a river to carry us. It is the ocean in which we drown if we are not prepared. You have two destinies, Outlander. In one, you defeat Arkham, claim the Eternal Throne, and remake the galaxy. In the other, you die alone, unmourned and forgotten. I brought you here to taste that defeat. You 
have no idea what I'm capable of. And neither do you. Therein lies the problem. This was a fraction of the pain my children can inflict. If you do not finish your training, become something greater, you will feel the full weight of their rage. You keep saying I have to become more than I am, but you never explain what that means. You demand a simple answer, refusing to look for it within. That is the essence of your failure. I cannot stay to protect you any longer. There are matters to which I must attend, but I will leave you with a final token of my favor. Fulfill your destiny, and I promise to return. When you come back, I'll be ready to finish this fight. You won't survive. I have never been your enemy. Remember that, and be victorious. Cheer up, big brother. You're making me sad. Father won't face me himself. He's punishing you for stealing his chair. He isn't angry. Father never feels anything. Not even when I... When Vexen died. He was a good brother. Brought me gifts from all the worlds he conquered. I freed you from father's control. I hope that earned your... support. My loyalties lie here, Arkan. Always. It means death to disbelievers. It means the end of our corrupt society. It means great happiness for all. You understand much, but do you know what will become of you, your family? We give ourselves to Zildrog's glory, 
so that the wicked may be punished. We die so that Zakul may live on. Good. You are on your way. In Zildrog's name. In Zildrog's name. For millennia, Jedi and Sith archive their knowledge in holocrons. These legacies preserve the wisdom of great minds. The focus was often on exploring mysteries of the Force, not the practical matters of government. After all, Jedi do not seek to lead, and it is in the nature of Sith to force their wills upon others. But a few sought to understand what it truly means to lead a civilization. These are their teachings. Your crimes will not go unpunished.
I've waited for you a long time. Welcome to my home, Outlander. Jedi Master Satil Shan. When Valkorion told me to finish my training, he meant with you. You're asking the wrong person. Yes, I'm going to offer a meal. Stop rushing me. You survived an ordeal. Come. Sit. There's food. I was brought here against my will. People are counting on me for help. I have to go. People are always counting on you. They won't stop just because you aren't there. Many things changed while you slept in Carbonite. I led the fight to save the Republic from Zakul. Nothing prepared me to face that enemy. I failed. Again. And again. This camp isn't new. You've been on Odessa for a while. When the Republic surrendered to Arkan, I gave myself to the will of the Force. I left the Core Worlds and found this planet. We've been here for years, waiting. We? Is there someone else here? In the Force, we are never alone. We sensed your awakening on Zakul felt the presence of our old enemy guiding you. We witnessed the victories and defeats leading you here. When we found you in that clearing, we faced a choice. Bring you here, or end you there. You're saying it was pure chance that you found me out there? Of course not. There are unseen influences working through me. Valkorion, and especially you. Valkorion strengthened your bond to the Force. You may be the greatest of us all, but your old training couldn't prepare you for what's to come. You have much to learn. Follow us. Seek the answers throughout the valley. You will know when you find them. There is no greater challenge than to change from within, but that is what we all must do to survive.
most powerful among us couldn't stand against the endless legions of Zakul. Even the Sith Empire learned that lesson too late. On countless worlds, I watched Jedi sacrifice themselves to delay inevitable defeat. We will not let you meet their fate. I went to Zakul in secret to see the Eternal Throne myself. I still bear the scars of that journey. <laughs> 